All right, here's problem 10. It's not really asking us to, you know, do any type of construction. It's simply saying, hey, take a look at this and figure out what type of construction is being illustrated by this. So they have a rectangle. Now, that's not really going to play any part to it because they're saying what's been illustrated here. Notice that what we've done is we've put this, it looks to me as if you have this line here. You've put your, you put your compass on this. You've made through two points, sorry about that, you made it to this point and this point off of G and then you've just tried to make another line so that you can draw this coming through G. The rest of this rectangle is just there to confuse you. There's no real part. So we're trying to draw, it looks to me, we've tried to draw this perpendicular line through this, AE or AB, and through this point G, which was not on the line itself. So have we done a bisector of line segment AB? Have we tried to cut it in half? No, that's crazy. Not even going to consider that. A line segment congruent to AB. So are we trying to create where we're trying to use a measurement and try to create something that's that exact length with what we've done? No. Uh, a perpendicular to AB through point E, through that point, on AB, we're not trying to create a perpendicular through that E, it's coming through the G obviously, so it's not that. So it's going to be choice D, a perpendicular to line segment AB through the point G, which is not on AB. All that means is, hey, G wasn't a point on there like E was. So, And that's exactly what we've done there. So it's choice D. We've drawn a perpendicular. Again, sometimes they ask us to construct it, sometimes they're going to give us a picture and say, hey, what did we do here? And you got to be able to figure that out. So problem 10, the answer will be D.